Hello, sixth grade scientist. This week, we are going to study about how heat transfers. There are three types of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. Energy transfer as heat can occur in three ways. Conduction involves objects in direct contact. The transfer of energy as heat occurs between particles as they collide with a, within a substance or between two objects in contact. All materials do not conduct heat energy equally well. Poor conductors of heat energy are called insulators. So look at this picture. Conduction involves objects in direct contact. So basically, conduction would be whenever this hot poker is over the fire. Conduction would mean that it has to touch. It, it literally is touching. Your hand is touching the hot poker, so you need a glove on you. And there's two other, there's other, there's other types. So there's conduction, where direct contact has to be involved. Then there's convection, and then there's radiation. Convection is warm air rising. Radiation is just heat that transfers to you because you're close. So we're going to go into detail with each of these. Conduction, look below. Transfer of heat by touch. This hand is touching the hot pot. The pot is on the hot burner. So conduction means that you touch. So direct contact. D for direct is in the word conduction. Contact, there's a C and C-O-N for contact. There's a T in conduction. So direct, here's the D for direct. And contact, C-O-N-T, C-O-N T, direct contact. So conduction, everybody slap your hands together and hold hands with your hands. Like pretend you're holding hands with yourself. Your two hands are touching one another. That's conduction. So now let's look below. So conduction is when direct contact, two hands are touching. The energy transfers from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. Heat from your hand, heat from your hand heats the ice to make it melt. For example, if a plastic spoon and a metal spoon are placed into a hot liquid, the handle of the metal spoon will get hot quicker than the handle of the plastic spoon because the heat is conducted through the metal spoon better than through the plastic spoon. So metal is a conductor. Plastic is an insulator. Make sure that you get the answers copied that are in yellow. Higher, lower, metal, and plastic. In convection, it's when cold water sinks and warm water rises, or when cold air sinks and warm air rises. We have a little chant for that. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. 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 It's very simple, but it's quite effective. Convection is the transfer of energy as heat by movement of the heated substance itself as currents in fluids like liquids and gases change direction. So warm air is always going to go up, cold air is going to come down. Or warm water is going to move up and cold air will move down to replace it. Like when you see the little bubbles bubbling up in the pot on the stove, the little bubbles that are rising are the warm water that's rising to the surface because it's been heated and then the cold air or the cold water on the surface shoots down and so it's always being replaced the warm will go up and the cold will come down then the warm will go up and the cold will come down until it's at a roaring boil 
Heat transfer occurs when particles with higher energy move from warmer to cooler parts of the fluid. So the warm's going to move up and the cold's going to come down. Uneven heating can result in convection, both in the air and in the water. This causes currents in the atmosphere, like wind, and in bodies of water on Earth, which are important factors in weather and climate. We'll find that out in the very next unit. So the information that you're learning about conduction, convection, and radiation, the three modes of heat transfer, are not only important in the energy unit, but they're going to be very important in the weather unit. If you look at the picture below, you can see what it looks like for convection inside a house. This is a radiator. Radiators radiate heat energy. So the heat energy is rising because warm air will always rise and cold air will always sink. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. Like I said, kind of aggravating, but it's quite effective. So inside a house, warm air will rise and cold air will sink. That's why in the top of the house, it's always cooler. Excuse me, it's always warmer because the warm air will rise. So you're always constantly have, having to heat your downstairs. But if you have a bedroom upstairs, your bedroom's probably hot quite often. So I know that when I was growing up, our house was three stories high. And our top, top floor where my sister Helen and my brother George and I had our bedrooms was always hot. We always had to kick the blankets off. It was kind of sickening. But downstairs, we always had to put a blanket on just watching TV. Now, inside this picture, it shows a pot on the stove. The pot on the stove is the same idea. Warm water's rising and cold water's sinking. See these little circles that it's creating? Those are called convection currents. The exact same thing that's happening inside the pot is also happening inside the ocean. And it's happening in the air around us. And that is why we have wind and we have uh, changes in bodies of water. So that's convection. That's our second type of heat transfer. Our third type of heat transfer is called radiation. Radiation is the transfer of energy through space without particles of matter colliding or moving to transfer this energy. This radiated energy warms an object when it's just absorbed by it. Radiant heat energy moves from an area of higher temperature to an area of cooler temperature all on its own, just traveling through space. Radiation, think of the sun's rays. Ray, ray, radiation. The sun's rays come toward us. We don't see them coming, but we feel them coming. So it's a mood, movement of particles through open space. So how about some tricks to remember conduction, convection, and radiation? First, don't forget that these are called three types of heat energy transfer. Conduction, think of a capital D and we'll tell you why. Convection, think of a capital V and we'll tell you why. And radiation, just imagine that it's always lit up like the sun. And RA for radiation. All right, let's look at conduction first. Conduction, of course, is a form of heat transfer. It's by touch. Heat transfer, objects are heating up by direct contact. Don't forget, direct contact. Direct contact. So, heat flows from hotter to colder objects. Just remember that conduction is when heat flows from hotter to colder objects. Heat flows from hot to cold. Hot to cold. Heat starts with an H. Hot starts with an H. Heat always goes from hot to cold. Heat always goes from hot or cold. 
or hot to cold. Heat always flows from hot to cold. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. Heat always flows from hot to cold. Heat always flows from hot to cold. Heat always flows from hot to cold. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. Heat always flows from hot to cold. Now, what is the hint for convection? Hold on a minute and I'll show you. Convection has a capital V. The V is supposed to look like this V, showing the, you that warm air is rising up. It's rising up this way and it's rising up this way. Warm air rises because it weighs less. Cold air sinks because it weighs more. Remember, warm air rises and cold air sinks. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. So the V looks like warm air rising up. And don't forget that can happen gases or liquids. And don't forget for radiation, ray, the sun's rays, radiate heat. It's heat moving through space. The heat does not need to travel through the heat does not need to travel through air or other particles. It just is. It's just transferring. And remember, the light from the sun takes 93 million miles. Uh, of a of a distance, it takes not it has to travel 93 million miles just to get to us. So the heat that we feel right now, look out the window, and look at the sun and the light that's coming to us from the sun. It left the sun eight minutes ago. That's how long it takes for light to travel. I mean, it's actually traveling very very quickly, but the fact that it's 93 million miles away it says a lot about the light so the lights ray the rays from the sun that heat energy is transferring to us but it doesn't have to be touching it doesn't have to be uh, traveling in any way it can go through the part through up just the open air open space and that is conduction convection radiation there is a little song that you can do you'll have to take the hand of a friend Whenever I say conduction, you're going to shake a friend's hand in class. When I say convection, I want you to put your hands in front of you, and I want you to make them go round and round, almost like wheels on a bus, but I want them to go opposite of each other. Convection, it's warm air rising and cold air sinking. Warm air rising and cold air sinking. And then radiation, I want you to pretend like you have spirit fingers and that you're almost like a cheerleader, puts her hands up in the air and twinkles her fingers out. Pretend that you're like sh a sun shining radiation. So this is how it goes. Remember when I say conduction, you have to grab the hand of a friend and shake a hand. And when I say convection, your hands go round and round, warm air rising and cold air sinking, like in a circular pattern. And when I say radiation, they have to go out and be spirit fingers. All right, here we go. Conduction, grab a hand, grab a hand. Convection, go round and round. Warm air rising, cold air sinking. Radiation, spirit fingers, throw your hands up in the air. Radiation, spirit fingers, conduction, grab a hand of a friend, convection, go round and round, radiation, spirit fingers, radiation, spirit fingers. Now everyone should be doing this in class. And you might look silly and that's okay. Teachers, make sure these kids are doing what we're supposed to. Conduction, grab a hand, grab a hand. Convection, go round and round. Radiation, spirit fingers. Radiation, spirit fingers. Conduction, grab a hand, grab a hand. Convection, go round and round. Radiation, spirit fingers. Radiation, spirit fingers. But you could do this all day until your eyes are blue. And if you don't remember that these are the three forms of energy transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation, then you're just not doing it right. So you have to remember that these are the three types of energy transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation, and that heat energy transfers 
three ways. Conduction, grab a hand, grab a hand. Convection, go round and round. Radiation, spirit fingers. Radiation, spirit fingers. Have a great week this week, guys. And I hope that all of the little hints and tricks really help you. Have a great week. Bye.